Our top story this morning. More than a month has passed since the Sewolho ferry sank off Korea's southwestern coast, taking with it the lives of so many young people. Following a tearful address on Monday by President Park Geun-hye, the government is tasked with making sure her plans to boost safety and stamp out corruption are seen through. Our Kim j i o n reports. The government wasted no time initiating follow-up measures to President Park's package of remedies to ensure another disaster like the Seoho Ferry disaster does not happen in the future. As her address wrapped Monday, officials led by Presidential Chief of Staff Kim Gi-chun broke President Park's remedies into five main sectors and 27 measures in total. The main sectors are the restructuring of government, reforming how government officials are appointed, proposing a special law to the National Assembly authorizing the establishment of a fact-finding committee into the ferry disaster, the establishment of a national safety ministry, and the establishment of a monument and a People's Safety Day on April 16th, the day of the ferry disaster. President Park singled out corruption as the main factor undermining the country's safety standards, saying it created an atmosphere where the ferry could sink and take so many lives with it. 공직 유관 단체 기관장과 감사직에는 공무원을 임명하지 않을 것입니다. 퇴직 공직자의 취업 제한 대상 기관 수를 지금보다 3배 이상 대폭 A large number of state-run organizations are headed by retired public employees that have worked in firms and organizations related to their former responsibilities. These officials have been described as part of a bureaucratic mafia because of their tendency to have collusive ties with those they were supposed to supervise or regulate. According to the state-run provider of public information, a i l i o 51 out of 153 heads of public organizations, or roughly one-third, could be categorized as bureaucratic mafia. President Park is expected to carry out a government reshuffle, including hiring a new prime minister after she returns from a three-day trip from the UAE later this week. Kim j o n g Arirang News.